As a Christian, you have to know that false prophets are all over the world. Whether we like it or not, the Bible has testified to those things. So you can see maybe this pastor is a false prophet. You can know that this pastor is from God. All you need is a discernment spirit. And all you need to also read the word of God. The word of God is like a direction for you to detect that this pastor is not from God. I'm going to show you a video very quick from Apostle Urumi Usai. Let's watch what he said. Sir, I saw you last week on Sunday. Yes, sir. In Kuwatana. In Kuwatana, Baba. Where do you stand? In Kuwatana, first. Kuwatana, first. Yes, Baba. I saw you bathing in the morning. Yes, Baba. You dressed yourself, then you put black shoes. Black shoes, Baba. It's true, black Last shoes, week, Sunday. Last week, Sunday, Baba. You put a combi. Yes, Baba. You went to church. The spirit of divination can unveil what is true. Because your name is Francis, it's true. Our name is Janet, it's true. Your father's name is Samson, true. 90% of those who call themselves prophets are not the prophets. That's why in these last days, authenticity of any man of God will always be character and fruit. You don't have Jesus in your heart, you want to write and say false prophets. Do are you a prophet? What have you done with your... You see, do you know why it seems as though there is a contention within the prophetic space? It is because for too long, many false prophets have raised themselves to an untouchable place. They feel they are untouchable. The difference between a true prophet and a diviner is that the diviner can reveal things. Can reveal your name, the color of your singlet, the name of your father and your village. But a diviner cannot reveal what is on the mind of God. We have received a spirit which is not of this world, but a spirit which is of God that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. The things of God can only be decoded by the Spirit of God. So you can hear people giving names and saying things, but they can never reveal what is on the mind of God. The fact that you have a microphone doesn't mean that you are bearing witness to the heart of Christ. The spirit of divination can unveil what is true because your name is Francis, it's true. Her name is Janet, it's true. Your father's name is Samson. True. So it is a spirit of truth that is responsible for prophecy. It connects us to the heart of Jesus and through the spirit of truth, we can understand what is on the heart of Jesus, the emphasis and the present revelation position of the spirit. I know you finished watching the video Apostle Urumi Osai said. I'm going to add my opinion to what he said. If you are a Christian, all you have to do is just to know who you are. Because those false prophets are inside the world for them to deceive us. They are in churches. They pretend they are preaching the word of God. But they are not preaching the word of God. They are preaching their own agenda. To make yourself rich and also driving big big cars i don't have any problem with that but you watching me right now use your common sense when you go to church don't let your mind to be dull don't let your mind to be cemented that anything that you are going to say is not from the word of god a lot of people will do that because they don't know the bible the word of god you have to read the bible for you to get understanding because if you read the bible and you get understanding Anything that is prepared for you to say in church, you know that is from the scripture. So you will never fear what you see. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take very good care of yourself. See you another time.